I'd like to welcome to the show director of the upcoming film Pinocchio, Matteo Garone. Um, what I wanted to know was, uh, what is your first memory of the film? Uh, of the story of Pinocchio, um, yes. you mean? Yes. Well, uh, well, uh, my, my first memory is uh, when my mother told me the, the story I was five years old. And I remember that I made my first storyboard of the story of Pinocchio at that age. So it take uh, 45 years for make the movie after the storyboard. <laughs> because now I'm 50. <laughs> uh, so so uh, it's a story that uh, is very popular in Italy as mm -hmm. in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I when I read the the, the book again uh, six or seven years ago, I discovered that there were many things that I didn't remember and uh, many things that uh, could be surprising for the audience. So the, the idea was to try to make an adaptation really faithful to the original book. So go back to the root of the story. And in this way, I believe that we can, uh, you know, surprise the audience, make something unexpected for the audience. Right, right. And um, was there any concern with trying to tackle such an important figure from people's childhoods? Well, uh, for sure, um, the lesson that Collodi gives, you know, to the child is uh, how important it is to, to follow the advice of the people that love you, like, for instance, the father, uh, because he shows how cruel and violent can be the, the world around you, the reality around you and how dangerous can be. So it's a story that is always modern, in a way. And, uh, and it shows also uh, from, uh, from Pinocchio uh, how it's important also the redemption, because Pinocchio at the beginning always makes the wrong decision, choice, but at the end he understands how it's important, you know, uh, to take care of, of the father. So there is a very uh, positive, you know, uh, positive ending um, and of course it's it's a story full of animal and uh, spectacular character mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, in a way it's a movie that is funny for kids and uh, and also for adults because the the adult uh, can go back you know to their childhood for a couple of hours mm -hmm. so um, I, I, I believe that uh, it's a story that a lot of people think to know, but uh, probably they don't really know the original one. Right. So old wood carver Geppetto's puppet creation Pinocchio magically comes to life with dreams of becoming a real boy. Easily led astray, Pinocchio tumbles from one misadventure to another as he is tricked, kidnapped, and chased by bandits. Were there any moments in the film that... Um, that you loved, that you created, anything that stood out to you? Well, I, 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 you know, I come from a, such a masterpiece of the literature that there were so many uh, um, amazing characters, amazing scenes. One of, the, of my favorite scenes is this, the scene with the judge, because um, with the judge that is a gorilla. Uh, I think the scene is uh, one of my favorite. But there were there were there were many, you know. We 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 made we we made a, a work with Marc Coulier, the artist of special effect, that very very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we we tried to create a animal and uh, that could be anthropomorph, a little bit animal and a little bit a little bit human. Um, and we tried to have fun with this creature. Mm -hmm. uh, so. There are there are many many characters uh, in the story that are um, sometimes funny, sometimes uh, uh, that could be also in other moments uh, dangerous, you know. Mm -hmm. And you sound so passionate about this project. Um, what made you want to become a director? Oh, well, I, I, it's true that I'm very passionate because uh, it's a movie that. Uh, 
uh, worked for this project for three years. Mm -hmm. We we look for we made a lot of research. We go back, you know, to all the uh, first illustration of Pinocchio. We go back to Tuscany in the real place. Uh, the landscape, you know, of uh, Italy that could be authentic for that period, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of paintings. We 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 work a lot, and for me it was an incredible pleasure, you know, to go back to to my country, uh, and then the, the the story is set in the end of 19th century. But as I said, I said before, it's a story that is always modern is a uh, talk about today uh, about poverty about violence but also about uh, love and uh, the redemption and he talk about future because the character uh, like in all the great fairy tales are uh, human archetype mm -hmm. so he talks about us <laughs> it's a very italian story mm -hmm. but at the same time it's also universal that, no, it's amazing. Um, I'm Italian as well, so to see Roberto Benigni okay. on the screen again was um, like it was great. So, what was it like working yeah. with with him? Well, it was it was an incredible gift. Uh, he was so generous, so so nice, so good. Uh, he can play moment that, as as uh, all the audience know from from the life is beautiful. He can play moment that is. Uh, funny and he can play moment that are, are, is, is, is dramatic he is incredible and uh, he comes from Tuscany he comes from a poor uh, family of farmer mm -hmm. so he, he was Geppetto so mm -hmm. it's one of the you know uh, of, uh, of the face that uh, uh, are connected to the past you know a past that now is disappearing mm -hmm. in Italy but he is uh, a sort of symbol of that, you know, of that world, uh, and um, when he accept to work with me on this project, he made he made an incredible gift to me, to the movie, and to the to the audience uh, of all, all all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I I'm so excited for everyone to watch this film. Um, so everyone, please watch Pinocchio out on VOD video on demand this Friday. Uh, thank you again, Matteo, for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It was nice to talk to you. Yeah, I hope you have Ciao. a great day. Thanks. Ciao.